everyone, this is Abound here and welcome back to Total War Warhammer 2 Mortal Empires and the second part of my Ungrim campaign. Last time we captured Nashrix, Na, Nashrax, Nashrax Lair. Yep, captured that one. Uh, public order isn't great, uh, but that is because we did a conquest and I need to recruit some more units. I'm hoping we can actually get some quarrelers now. How much are quarrelers? 134 upkeep each, which, you know what we could do is get rid of one of these dwarves, I think, and maybe get a, a trio. I quite like that. I think that'd be fine. We'll go with that. And uh, commandment-wise, uh, we could go for Masters of Steel and Stone, which will give us construction reduction, recruitment reduction, local recruitment capacity. Meh. Growth might be nice. Uh, tax rate or public order. I think for the moment we're probably going to need public order. Just to try and maintain it a little bit. I, uh, I think that's probably a good idea. So let's go with that. Uh, next, we're going to be heading northward. Now, Olug has been recruiting quite a sizable army. So he hasn't been... He hasn't been lazy. He's been busy. But um, I still think we should be fine, assuming there's no more armies up here. And I suspect there probably is. So uh, let's end the turn and see what happens. I have to chase old Olug down. Finish him off. At least he's taking attrition there, but he is recruiting more units. I think his fightiness is low. Because he obviously got beaten in combat. And he hasn't been raiding. So uh, he is taking attrition every turn. Works for me. Oh, hello. Bloody hell, he wants a fight. He wants a fight and he's got a fair few lads there. And sneaky stabbers. That's not good. I still think we should be fine, but it's going to be a tough fight. But at least we'll have our quarrelers afterwards and that will hopefully kill that army. So uh, here we go. That's a lot of green skins. Okay, so we're outnumbered, but that's not unusual. The dwarves, to be fair, the dwarves are usually outnumbered. Especially against the green skins. And here they come, we've got uh, hordes. Literal hordes of orc boys. There's their warlord there. Their war boss is uh, some, a few goblin archers, not many. They've got some nasty skulkers as well. Now that's a problem, because nasty skulkers are going to be very good against our armoured dwarves. And basically all we've got is our armour. So we've got our four ranks of dwarf warriors, stout, dowie, clansmen. And in the centre here we've got the thunderers. To the left of them we've got the quarrelers. And then on the flanks we've got the slayers. So we've got two units uh, of full slayers led by Ungrim. And a unit of giant slayers. And then uh, a unit of half slayers. I mean, I say half slayers. I mean, it's, it's half the number of slayers. They're not half the height. Obviously, dwarves are generally... Half the I mean, well, they're, they're normal size for a dwarf. If anything, humans are too tall. That's their problem. Human and elves, they're just uh, too tall. And we've got unit slayers on the right flank just to protect us from this little outcropping. See, we've anchored ourselves on this outcropping, so we can't get flanked. The dwarves, uh, the slayers are over there to make sure we don't. The orc war boss is charging directly into our thunderers, and the thunderers are going to try and snipe him out because obviously, if we can kill him. And that's going to cause a little bit of uh, a morale shock to the rest of the army, make them a little bit easier to break. So we're focusing fire on them. See, we would do some damage to the Orc boys, but they are shielded. Mind you, so is the war boss. You can see he's taking a lot of damage now, lots of damage. Down to 174 health. He's going to he's going to get into combat, though. He's going to manage to charge through that hail of gunfire and actually manage to reach, reach our lads and actually do some damage. Meanwhile, the orcs are charging against the the shield wall of the dwarf warriors. The orc war boss has broken. He's been chased off by Garim. Nice work, Garim. And over on the flank, the slayers hacking their way. 
to the orc boy. You know what? Slaves don't actually do very well against orc boys, weirdly enough. It's, it's pretty much an even trade, which is uh, it's not ideal. Ungrim, though, does make the difference. Ungrim's there hacking his way. He's killed two already, doing a lot of damage. The demon slayers on the other... Uh, giant slayers, sorry. On the other hand, are doing very, very well. Killed uh, 36. The sl as you can see, the slayers on the left flank, almost gone. They've only got 12 health left. I think they're gonna that, that unit's gonna be wiped out, unfortunately. Uh, but the giants, giant slayers are pushing ahead forward. And oh, you know what? We might actually with 74 health and only three, no, two slayers left. We might be okay. Left flank has shattered as the slayers now hunt down, vengefully hunt down the greenskins. Thunder is now flanking around, and you can see there's a huge mob of orcs here, traps in between dwarf. As they're basically a dwarf sandwich and the orcs are the delicious crunchy meat mm, delicious orc meat no that actually sounds awful doesn't it so they're trapped in between dwarf warriors you can see they're trying to flee off now being hacked to death thunder has chased them off with some shots the Quarrelers try and do as much damage as possible. The Slayers are moving in. Obviously, these guys are pretty fast. At 44 speed, they definitely outrun the 31 speed Orc Boys. And uh, they're only tired. So they're going to be very easily catch up with these Orcs and kill as many as possible. Obviously, the more we kill, the better for the XP and all that kind of stuff. We are outnumbered, but that's... That went pretty well, I think. Slayers did a good job, although they did take a lot of damage doing it. Those Slayers certainly made a mess of those greenskins. We lost a unit of Slayers there, but they died doing what they loved. Killing Urks. I could, well, I kind of want to get the replenishment. So I'm just going to execute the captives. That should be fine. Ungrim's ranked up, as is Garim. Excellent stuff. Means we should be able to get the uh, Doomseekers skill now. Uh, that's going to help us get replenishment for our slayers. Obviously, they take a lot of damage. I quite like that, actually. I don't... So if we go and grab... Doom Seekers here, so we're going to get cash replenishment mate, 30% for Ungram and Slayer units, which is pretty mega. So you can see these units now healing up very, very quickly. And Garim, I think we're going to go with. I mean, Forge Fire is nice, armor piercing uh, damage, 10%, but I just feel like against green skins, they don't have much armor piercing themselves. They don't have much armor either. So I think we're going to go for Rune of Oath and Steel. Armor inscribed with the Rune of Oath and Steel will not bend or buckle. Let's go. It's a 25 per second uh, buff, which increases armor by 30 for uh, units within 40 meters of the Rune Smith. So it makes, makes them pretty bloody tanky. The slayer in me seeks death. Let's go and uh, just chase down this army. He's going to try and get away. But we're not going to let him. I think Ultra Resolve will be okay. Yeah, that was absolutely fine. They only killed one. And execute them because they're Urk scum. And Ungrim is bold. Excellent. We've got our Slayer Ward. Did we... Well, we've already got one of those. Uh, Zograk is dead. And Ungrim also has a Cooper. What do you mean the Cooper's Guild isn't important? Tell me, lad, without a cask, what would you store the black powder and beer in? That's a very good question. And a teller of tales. Not an official title, but there is always one long beard in the feasting hall that can engross an audience with a fine tale if offered a tankard of ale. Public order plus one, untainted plus two. Ready. And Ungrim's ranked up again. Jeez, Ungrim. What a lad. Uh, let's... Let's get this one over here. The stubborn dwarves refuse to yield or tire and ensure its followers are of the same ilk. Vigor loss reduction. Uh, that's going to help our slayers stay in the fight longer. Upkeep wise, not great. And to be honest, I would like a public order building, but um, I mean, okay, it's dropping by five a turn, which means we're going to be okay for 14 turns, which I think is long enough. 
If we wait here, we're in our own territory. We can then head north, grab Kazid, Urkulaz, and then hopefully move on to Karakungra. Again, I'm a little bit concerned about this. The public order is dropping. Ideally, I would like a public order building in here. Um, but I just don't... And we could... We could replace our slate. It's only 146, but... Okay, I'm going I'm to hold off getting any more units because I think we're going to be okay. Or are we? I mean, Karakungor. If they have an army there as well, what? that could prove tricky. On the other hand, to give that... How much do we need to upgrade? 3,200 to upgrade plus... Uh, where are we? Refectory is 1,500. Yeah, I think I'm going to hold off because I think I'm going to need the money. I think we'll be okay. I think. Maybe. We also have to be careful of the, the orcs to the south as well because they're down there meandering around. Hopefully they're too busy with Zofbar to worry too much about us. Okay, they do have an army there. They are recruit. I think that might be their only army then. Ah. Snorko? <laughs> oh, shit, not that guy. Can we reach you? We cannot reach you. Okay, well let's uh let's head. If we go. Ooh. Really isn't much. Okay, if we go there and encamp, I think we can reach them next turn. That should be fine. We'll get a little bit more replenishment. That's all good. Getting a little bit dicey down there. I mean, I could. Is there? Is there anything I can do? We've got as much public order as we can muster. Four. I mean, we could untax it. It doesn't actually decrease our income very much. I mean, that way it's not so urgent. Okay, well, let's... Let's do that. It means it's only going down one a turn. Oh shit, they've got an entire new stack. Okay. 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 I don't have a stack. Okay. Okay, so we've got levy missile weapons. So doors with a penchant. They're picking the Irks off from a firewall form. Thunder or quarrel units. So we've got that one. We can grab masterwork crossbows. Pure steel crossbows are precision crafted instruments able to accurately deliver death from afar. Onward. Uh, they're not quite in... Okay, so it options are... Options are we hit Kazid Urkulas. We could effectively grab that. If we can do that with minimal casualties, then... I mean, they'll probably attack us. That's the only problem. What's the garrison like? It's not great. Uh, goblins, orc... I mean, if we're careful... If we're careful, we might be able to... It might be okay. I feel like, I mean, if we let them keep recruiting, it's going to be, it's going to continue to be a problem. So. Death or glory. There will be blood. My command is attack. Right. 
Jesus Christ, they're recruiting night goblins already? Are you shitting me? And biggins. That's not... That's bad news. That is very bad news. Okay, well, we'll fight this one. Because we're going to have to. This is a bit more like it. Now we've got our Quarrelers in the action. They're going to be able to do a lot of damage for us. Dwarf Warrior is very good in defense, not very good on the attack. On Grim's in the center there. The enemy army, it, we, we definitely outmatch it. That's not going to be a problem. But we need to try and deal with this army with as few casualties as possible because we've got a much larger army just behind it. And it doesn't look like we're going to have much of a chance to heal up in between fights. We're currently targeting the Orc Biggins, doing as much damage to them as possible. Uh, on the right flank, we've got some Night Goblins. You've only just spotted them, but we kind of expected. So we've got uh, Slayers moving around on the right flank. Thunderers trying to pick off the Biggins before they can get into combat. They're going to be very nasty if they get in. The, the Slayers going to charge the Night Goblins. And then in round behind, the Slayers going to hit them in the rear. Lots of goblins going to get chopped to pieces there. Good stuff. Meanwhile, Garim and Ungrim are throwing themselves into the fight. You can see Garim there tanking, effectively, a whole bunch of biggins and goblins. Now, that means that we can just open fire with the crossbows. Ungrim, very, very similar. And as you can see, Slayers on the right-hand flank, or left-hand flank, sorry, have just driven off their units. They're now going to move in to, a, to assist. Ungrim may have been surrounded, but let's say that did mean we could just literally open fire with the crossbows. Pretty much no chance of hitting Ungrim. He was surrounded by enemy green skins. And now our giant slayers moving in to assist. Some slayers chasing off the orc boys. And the slayers on the right flank, the same. Moved in to assist Garim. Those goblins, they chopped down the, the big ones, no problem. Those goblins now trying to run away. The goblins and orcs now trying to run into each other. And completely surrounded by slayers, cut down. Okay, so, I think that went quite well. I mean, I don't think we could have been any cleaner than that. So we lost 18 dwarves and Ungrim and Garim took a little bit of damage, but it's not it's not too bad. Okay. So we're going to occupy. So we killed Snorko. And we've got Ornery Backslider heading this way. He's probably going to attack. So what can we get that is going to help us? I mean, five melee attack for Slayer units. And they've already got fairly high melee attack, so I don't know if that's the right decision. Okay, well, let's have a look at Garim. I mean, we could get a... Th that's not really going to help. Oath Gold isn't really going to help. Um, scouting, not really... I mean, Forge fire might just give us a little little benefit. Let's go for forge fire. The fires of the runesmiths forge burn brighter and hotter. Its blessing upon an ally's weapon increases their potency. That's so that's just a constant effect within 40 meters. It increases all allies' weapon damage by 10 or armor piercing damage, sorry, by 10%, which is gonna be fine. And Ungrim. If our units don't get tired so quickly, then that can only be a good thing. So let's go with that. Okay. I mean, in comparison, not not great. Although we do have some more money coming in thanks to a trinket maker here. Which is very, very nice. That's going to help a little bit. Uh, public order is stable here for the moment. Which is good to see. Hopefully we'll be able to... When's that going to be? Uh, well, actually, we could upgrade... Gra and to be honest, considering we've got this potential aggression from the south, maybe getting walls here is a good idea. Oh, on the other hand, mm, it's tricky. There's a lot of things I want to do. I don't have the resources to do them. And uh, ornery over there. 
could be trouble. What do they have in... Shit, yeah, they can recruit Orc Biggins and Light Goblin Archers. Okay, I need to take that as soon as possible. And that means fighting my way through Ornery. So I think he's going to attack. I could be wrong, but I suspect he probably will. Despite being outnumbered, I think we'll be okay. Well, that's not a surprise. Thought you won't have time to heal up, but we didn't take much damage last time. They've got a lot of goblins. They've got some wolf riders. I don't think that's a problem. Smashing through those orc boys is going to be a problem. But I think we can do it. The last battle went pretty well, so that's good. However, this battle's going to be even tougher because the greenskins outnumber us, uh, well, two to one? Yeah, two to one. We do have some Goblin Wolf Riders running around the right flank. We've got the Slayers and Giant Slayers on the left and the right flank, more Slayers. Backed up by the Thunderers. The Thunderers, uh, the Slayers are hopefully going to pin some of these units in place, allow the Thunderers to do their work. We've got a nice little cross pattern here. So the crossbows, if the Orcs come and hit us there, they should have a little bit of overlap. Hopefully we can then fire into them, do some damage that way. That's the plan anyway. Means we won't have to fire over the top, we can fire directly into the side. That's the, that's the theory anyway. Ungrim's going to charge this unit of Orc boys on the left flank. Orc boys now charging our line and the crossbows doing their work. Excellent stuff on the right flank. Slayers fighting against those uh, nasty skulkers. They managed to deal with the wolf riders mostly. Another Thunderers trying to pick off some of these units. There's nothing in between these units and the Thunderers, though. But the Goblins seem more interested in trying to reach the Slayers. The Slayers will fight to the death, which is good in one hand. And on the other hand, I don't particularly want them to die. Because if the unit dies, it's going to be difficult to replace at the moment. And I need to move as quickly as possible. On the left flank, we can see a very, very thin line of Giant Slayers pinning three Orc units in place. The Slayers over here died very, very quickly. Now it's just the Giant Slayers who are actually doing doing very, very well for themselves. Slayers over here assisting Ungrim. A unit has been completely wiped out. But the Orcs on the left flank have broken and are trying to get away. That frees up some units. The enemy war boss. Well, great Charlem. And Garim there in amongst the orcs. He's buffing the, the units over here with his rune when he can. And the Slayer unit has been wiped out on the right flank. Goblins did try to charge... Oh, the Nazi Skulkers did try and charge the Thunderers, but the Thunderers saw them off. And uh, they're now breaking and running. Poor old Slayers over here. They've only got 18 of them left. But they've been doing fantastic work. Look at 116 kills. Taking a lot of damage, though. Got some Wolf Riders trying to get into combat with the Thunderers. Thunderers have been picking off every single unit that tries to get into combat with them. They've been breaking. They've got 109 kills. You can see Goblins try and charge them, take a, a face full of shot, and then decide to break and run. The Slayers manage to finish off all their units, although there's only six of them left. The Dwarf Warrior is now free to finish off these units. Garim charging in and Ungrim is trying to kill off the enemy war boss he's chasing down some of the fleeing orc units how many kills has Ungrim managed to get 49 not bad Ungrim not bad at all 
So far, we've only lost one unit of slayers, but these giant slayers on the left flank have... Oh, no, sorry, they've managed to pull out. So we've managed to pull four giant slayers out of that fight. 303 health slayers have moved in what's left of them to try and break this unit. I prefer to lose the slayers rather than the giant slayers. I know the giant slayers want to, you know, find death, but um, I do kind of need them. So I'm going to try and hold on to them. We did lose one unit of slayers, but I think everyone else is going to be okay. That is if we don't shoot them in the back with our own units. However, looks like we've managed to defeat that orc army. We took a lot of damage doing it. It's going to take some time to replenish that. And all the time we're waiting, the Greenskins will be in Karakongor recruiting more units. Okay, well that was quite brutal, but we definitely won it. Good stuff. And I, we didn't even lose the Giant Slayers. I was a bit worried about that, but they have survived. Uh, so actually, that, that could have gone a lot worse. So we're going to execute the captives. Ornery is going to run off. And I mean, we should get some good replenishment. We might even be able to chase the army down and kill it. And if we can do that, that'll be great. Because if we can do that, we can head straight for Karakungor and lay siege to it before they can recruit any units. So Ungrim is a confident defender. Good job there. And the disappeared, the Skaven are at work at Kazid Urkulaz. Okay, so replenishment, pretty good. That army, pretty beaten up. Uh, yeah, we would have to do global recruitment, so it would take a couple of turns. But we can just go and chase down. I think we're going to be okay just to water resolve that. That's fine. I'm okay with that. Let's do a little stabby stabby. Talisman of Endurance for Ungrim. That's going to make him even more tanky. And another Slayer Ward. And Green Skin Bane. So hit points 10%, campaign movement range plus 6%. Uh, income from sacking, all that kind of good stuff. And Notorious Executioner, enemy leadership, public order, income from sacking, and attribute causes fear. I think he causes fear anyway. Doesn't matter. Anyway, Ungrim, ranked up. Good job. I think maybe we'll go Root Marcher. I've been hanging... Yeah, yeah. That's, I've been sort of holding off, but I think that's probably the right uh, option. And then Garim, you can have... Um, Clans Corruption, Scouting. I mean, quite nice to have Scouting. I mean, Rune of Wrath and Ruin would be fantastic. We need sk four skill points here. Dampening, I'm not too bothered by. I'm going to go Strike. Strike the Runes. A Runesmith may strike the Runes, an analogy for keeping them hot, refusing to let them cool. Oh, okay, if you say so. Um, Right, I think we're going to need a... If we pop in there, that's not as much replenishment as I was hoping. I could maybe... You're not right, Dad. See, he's going to be recruiting biggins and all that kind of nasty stuff, which I do not like. We maybe go for slayers? That's going to cost a lot, though. Miners are armor-piercing. I think we're going to need two turns to recover. Um, okay, what we're going to do... Yes, we're going to get another Dwarf Warrior. I'm also going to get a Slayer. Now, that has used a lot of money. We could upgrade Nash... Oh, I think I need the Public Order, though. I mean, we haven't seen anything from the, the Bloody Spears yet, so I'm... That garrison is awful, though. That will fall as soon as something looks at it. Okay, we're going to give it two turns. And I'm going to hold off upgrading. I'm going to wait until we can get... So it's going to be another... 13 turns? Are you crapping me? That's bloody ages. There would be more growth. Hmm. Could go empower the... Okay, we're going to go empower the guilds. Hopefully that will cut down that 13 turns a little bit. Jesus. Um... 
Yeah, okay. I'm going to give it two turns here and then move on Karakungor as quickly as possible. So we can... I mean, at worst, he can recruit, what, six units? On top of the garrison, which... Oh, he's already got some big ones there. I, mean, oh, oh, oh. I, am the Slayer King. I don't know if that's the right decision, but that's what we're going to do. So, unfortunately, we are running out of time. So I'm going to have to leave it there, but thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.